guys welcome again to another tutorial this is the stitch i have for you today this balloon stitch this have a beautiful texture as you can see this is the right side and this is the wrong side really really beautiful texture this stitch uh, asks for a multiple of 12 plus two stitches for your edge stitches Let's see how it works and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Pattern says to work with a multiple of 12. You may add the stitches uh, how many times you want number 12, 12, 24, 36, 48 and then at the end you may join two stitches more as your hedge stitches. I have here 26 stitches as my foundation and now let's start by chaining three stitches more one two and three and exactly here on my first chain on my foundation I will do four double crochets on the same loop one two three And four. These first three chains you did will count as one double crochet, has your first double crochet, and then you have four more on the same loop. And now on the next two chains, let's do two individual double crochets. One, and the next loop, two. Now on our next seven stitches on our foundation, let's do seven double crochet, but let's do only half of the stitch, then we may close them all together. Let's do like so. You go through the loop, grab your thread, do half of the stitch. Again, grab your thread and do half of your stitch. You may repeat this seven times and do half of your stitch. Here I have all the seven stitches as you can see three six seven plus the one we left and now we may finish them all together like so. And now chain again. Our next two, two loops let's do two individual double crochets normal double crochet one and two and now on this loop the next loop let's work seven double crochets on the same loop like we did with the four we did here one two on the same loop seven double crochets and this is how it looks the seven stitch on the same loop and now again two double crochets two individual double crochets exactly here one two and now we may do a mirror of what we do exactly here let's repeat the seven double crochets we close it together then two individuals then four on the same stitch on the same loop and the last one let's do seven close it together one two I have again my seven stitches let me close all of them together and now two individual double crochets four on the same loop and my last double crochet I finished my row number one and I finish it with one double crochet as I start exactly here and now let's do chain three one two three and let's turn to the row number two 
this chain three at the beginning and at the end it's uh, your double crochet your first and your last double crochet and now we may work behind these four stitches we have here let's go behind the stitch go with your crochet like so go through the stitch and work your double crochet just behind like so one two, three, and our last four. Your work may look like this. And now we have those two double crochet we did between them let's do in front in front you go like so and work your stitch in front two double crochet these two double crochets we have between the end fans in crochet they will be always in front okay in front uh, on this uh, on this side okay and now we have the stitches we closed all together here let's do one double crochet behind okay let's go like so you can see them go till here and let's do a double crochet just behind those stitches like so and now let's do in front the two double crochet we have here in front one and two The next seven stitches let's work behind like we did with these four stitches let's go behind like so and work here the stitch seven times with seven times behind and now we have again the mirror of our stitches now we have two like we did here one two and next four and next one it's what we will do here on this side and now let's go in front with these two we have here one behind this one exactly here I will go again And I'm gonna finish this stitch doing two in front four behind and my last double crochet to do my very hand double crochet exactly here on my edge and now let's turn to the row number three let's chain three one two and three 